What's going on guys, it's your boy Jack, AKA The Balding Reefer, coming at you with today's video, which is how I fast cycle all of my aquariums in the Reefer Aquatics fish store, and also segregating some of the fish out of the predator tank into individual tanks. So let's go. Okay, so for those of you that are new to the channel, hello, my name is Jack, I'm indeed the Balding Reefer. Should I say bald now? I specialize in tropical, cold water, pond and marine fish. This video is all about fast cycling all of the aquariums, uh, separating out some of the fish from the predator tank just down here, because the peacock bass have got a habit of eating all the Oscars, so I want to move them out. And I also need to move out the parrot fish as well, because they're getting ready to spawn. That's going to be coming in a later video of the spawning. I'm just segregating them out today and getting you guys ready um, to add a lot of fish in here. So if you are new and this kind of content interests you or you just want to support a new fish store, do me a favor, swipe up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, leave me a hell of a lot of love in the comment section down below. I love responding to all of you guys. It makes this whole process so much easier and so much more enjoyable. Let me spin you around though, share the fish room today. Okay, so big changes to the fish room. Yes, I use the Hoover. Yes, I know how to clean up. Aquarium stands are all in. Aquarium tanks are all in. New background on this one, mirrored. Let me know what you think in the uh, comment section down below. All the bottom ones in. This one's just got to be cleaned as well as this one. Those three have also got the mirrored backgrounds on as well. Just in the process of draining this one down today. This is one of the tanks that I had off Mickey Lawson. He did tell me one of them leaked. I couldn't remember which one it was. So I thought, ah, I'll fill it up and give it a whirl. And as you can see, I've chosen the leaky one. So that one's been drained as we speak. Uh, gonna reuse the water though <clears throat> in these aquariums over here and I'll show you how I actually fill them up with the sink being all the way over there. Talking about sink though, I actually put these shelves up and they're bang on level as well. Oh, that's where my drink is. I've been looking for that. I tell you what, hit me up in the comments down below. What's an interesting drink from where you're from? This is a Don Simon lemon and raspberry juice drink. It's a lovely sea blue and it tastes absolutely amazing. For those of you that don't know, I love trying new foods and new drinks. The weirder and wonderful, the better. Let me know what's an interesting drink from where you're from. And if you're international and can post them out to me, let me know. I'd love to do a bit of a sam an international sample. Or even if you're in the UK um, and you've got interesting juice drinks by you guys, hit me up in the comment section uh, and let me know what it is. And uh, we do a little bit of a taste review. Um, but yeah, let me get you in the tripod because I've got to move this bad boy all the way over there. Um, and oh yeah, Lampy, I've got a tripod now, by the way. It's a horrendous one from Home Bargains. It's very, very wobbly, but it does the job. Let me sit, stick you in it though. Okay, so you're in the tripod, and this is where the massive guns come into play. All we do, so we just keep spinning it, basically. Be careful not to drop the water everywhere. I have bought, some of these little wheel things from B&Q. I just need to get some thick board where I can put them on, I can sit this on, I can just drag it up and down. So that's another video for a later date. But for the time being, I'll just let you all admire the gun show as I'm dragging this down there. That'll do. Now, my ingenious methods. Let me move you a bit closer so you can see. My ingenious method, I have a hose pipe that is electrical taped onto the end of an all-pond solutions pump. So I stick that in the bottom. I, I, I also use that pump for uh, when I do water changes on the uh, beastie predator tank. But yeah, the reason we've actually got to move the fish out, I say the fish, some of the fish out today, is because the, uh, the peacock bass have got to have it a bit in the Oscars. Oscars when they fry, which is, there are, I say fry, there's some juvenile Oscars in there. They're very inquisitive, they're like little water puppies. And, uh, Peacock bass. Peacock bass is a miserable old man and he has a habit 
of eating these guys. I need to plug this in. Bear with me. This is where we have to plug it in and race. Where it actually comes out the end. It's just a matter of filling this bad boy up. The white residue that you can see on the front is literally just that water residue. So when these bad boys are filled, I'll actually show you how I'm actually going to go about getting that off. I'll tell you what, I have loved but hated this whole process. It's been so stressful. I just keep reminding myself how positive and enthusiastic you guys are when I release a video out on the channel. And because obviously this is being done ahead of time, it's very difficult to like gauge if you guys are going to enjoy the kind of content that I'm doing. I hope that you are because obviously it's a humongous step for me in my fish keeping journey. Going from a an, a hobbyist to an extreme well, going from a tank keeper to a hobbyist to an extreme hobbyist to a fish story. But even the fish story it's always going to remain as an extreme hobby for me. I'm never going to change from the roots of where we started or what this channel's all about. We're still going to do DIY builds. We're still going to do breeding out of here. I was actually talking to Pops in Bulgaria yesterday and the Custom Aquarium stands that we're actually going to put across this back wall here. So obviously you guys have seen by now, but I still haven't got a clue how they're going to look. Uh, I'm actually going to use that as my breeding rack and I can move over the breeders over into here so you guys can still have the Baldwin Reefers homegrown bred fish in your aquariums. Obviously we'll still have the imports from all over the world as well, but you'll also be able to have uh, my fish in there as well. Let me stick you on a little bit of a fast forward though, because it's pretty painful just to watch tanks fill up, isn't it? Okay, middle tank's done. Top tank's just filling up. Let me snap back to you in a second when it's done. Okay, so these two tanks are done. This one's three quarters done. I've redone the closed repair system because it keeps blowing off. I do need to get a new attachment for that. I've swapped over one of the lights onto here as well. Let me just switch the light out so I can show you what it actually looks like. Also, I've got to put my flaps on as well. That'll be done on today's video. But there you have it. It's actually starting to look like an aquarium store now. What I was thinking was because this video is going to be a little bit of like a general sort of day to day in the shop in regards to what I've been doing, all the smaller jobs. I'm actually going to put some sand in the bottom of here because obviously I'm taking out the uh, parrots. I'm taking out the other female parrot just through there, the red one. There she is. Taking out the smaller Oscars and I'm also taking out the albino Oscars that I've got left. Obviously the big one is going to stay in. And this one, April named me. It's literally called M-E, me. Um, so yeah, that one's going to be uh, staying in. Probably going to put the uh, <clears throat> the albinos in here and the black ones in this one. But I was thinking, I've got to do a water change on here anyway. Why don't I put some of the kids' play sand, the play pit sand, in the bottom? So that's probably what I'm going to do next. I'm going to sit you on a tripod and we'll do a water change on the predator tank. Okay, so as I explained, I also use this for my water changes. Everybody's literally thinking it's feeding time. As we do now, like this. Stick it into the sink. Now it's just my plugging it in. So while that water change finishes, I'll show you what I've done with the floor. So I've actually marked out where the uh, custom desk is going to go. So in essence, here, this space is where the, um, the desk workspace is going to be. This bit here is going to have a bit of a bar and lead on it so I can actually Scoot out the other side. I know I'm going to lose a little bit of weight and it better gets through, but you know, it's a work in progress. 
where the blue tub is, that's where my chair's going to sit, and then the fire's going to get moved on. But turn this off, actually, it's red hot in here now. That isn't how I'm heating the whole fish room, by the way, don't worry. It's just a temporary solution. So, we'll get 50% drain on this bad boy. I'll get everything cleared off the roof of it. And then I can take the lid off, and then we can actually go ahead and add in the play sand, take out the parrots and stuff as well. Um, what I've actually got with me today to actually fast cycle the aquariums is this stuff, stability. So it's new tank stabilization system for marine and fresh water. It's basically two caps per 100 litres. So each one of these you're gonna to have to have four capfuls in it. And then you can add fish in within 24 hours. All this is in essence is beneficial bacteria. Then all you do every day for seven days is just add in an additional capful on the top. And you're good to go. Obviously as normal, keep an eye on your water parameters and stuff like that. But in essence, that's how I'm actually gonna fast cycle all of my sponges because I have put these through the washing machine. Not Obviously not with any detergent in or anything like that. Just on a heat cycle just to blast off any of the bacteria, whether that's good bacteria or whether that's bad bacteria. Boat's looking good. It's in the big plaque at the back. Absolute beast he is. But once I've actually got this 50% drained, I'm then gonna be able to, um, like I say, it'll be a lot easier for me to be able to get all of the sand in there and stuff like that. Let me snap back to you in a second when this is 50%, so I've actually cleared off the roof. <coughs> okay, just under 50% drained. What we got to do now? Take the lid off. It's alright, big rich got bones. Drink of choice today, or second drink of choice, Iron Brew Extra. Not the same since they dropped all the sugar out though. Yeah, another long night up the unit. Uh, as I showed you previously, I've uh, marked out the floor for the desk. But let me spin you around and show you what I've done. So I've, uh, in essence, I've built my frame. I've got a, a lip on here where I'm gonna have like a bar door sort of opening and closing so I can get in and out. Um, <clears throat> I haven't shown you me building the frame because it's pretty much the same as the uh, same methodology as the uh, aquarium stand that I built. <clears throat> but we've gone all the way to the back wall. Uh, the desk is obviously gonna go across here on that angle, across on the corner. Um, but super strong, you can literally sit a car on that bad boy, it won't be going anywhere. Uh, what I've done is I'm actually gonna, well, I'll tell you what I've done, I'll show you what I've done actually. Um, I don't know if you can see that line there. So that's basically where the split on the first board is gonna go. So the first piece of the desk is gonna go across here. 
and the second piece is going to go across there and I'm going to cut it across on that angle. Um, but let me get you set up in the tripod, I'll show you me ripping this down, get it screwed on uh, and then we'll get the bar hatch on there as well. Okay, so it's going to prove pretty difficult obviously doing this on my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the hollow of this bit here as a support when I'm ripping the board down the middle. And it's just a matter of going slow and steady. So there we have it, there's the first board ripped down, there's just a matter of putting it on, <clears throat> getting it as square as possible. And now what I want to do is actually, I don't want any screws going through the top. So I need to find a screw that's going to have enough length just to pierce it in. These are the ones. Okay, so there is the front of the desk. I've actually changed my mind ever so slightly on the design reason for that is I think I'm actually going to lose too much space because what I'll be able to do is if I take this off the cupboard here and I actually use my clip onto this bit I'll actually be able to have this bit here as like a bagging up area at the front then I'll be able to have all of my work stuff here at the back as well there's still like absolutely plenty of room to be able to get down to the side this board here just needs to be re straightened up on the bottom and pulled in but in essence <clears throat> That's the formulation of a desk. I have got to put the front kick door on here. So that's fine. But overall, super happy with how it's looking. Obviously this bit here has got to be encased down the back as well. I may even, I may even swap the brackets from there and put it onto the outside here so it actually opens and closes. Watch this space. Okay, so I fixed it. My screws were the wrong way around. Uh, it was my screws, sorry, my uh, hinges were the wrong way around. So that's now on. Just need to get another board for down the side. Plenty of room to walk down and have a look at the tanks and stuff like that. So absolutely fine on that front. Um, but yeah, big dogs when I say hello. Super impressed though with how it's looking. This bit here isn't perfectly level, but I'm not particularly bothered about that uh, for how often it's going to be up. But it does fold all the way back, which is good. So when I'm uh, when I'm wanting to get in and out, it's relatively, it relatively easily done. Just put two screws in the wood here at the bottom. Just to literally hold that on level. And yeah, jobs are good in. Just need to get an office desk in there now. I can pull that bit off the side. Obviously, I've got somewhere to work from. Uh, and obviously, once I've got all the fronts on here, it's all encased in. I am going to paint this. Unsure on what colour yet. You guys have already seen what colour it is. But there we have it. So, yeah. Had a long day in the, uh, in the fish store again. But we're getting there now. We have got fish in some of the tanks. We've got a load more fish coming on an import. Uh, so yeah, super, super excited to make sure you are following me along. Social media, please. Facebook and Twitter is at the Balding Reefer. Insta is slightly different. That's at the dot balding dot reefer. But as ever, stay safe, stay sane. Most importantly, people stay happy. Balding Reefer, out.